All right, guys. Thanks for being here tonight. Thought our uh, student fans, uh, student group was great. Uh, filled that up pretty good, it looked like. And uh, um, I thought Omaha was a uh, stone them. I thought they played really hard, really physical. I'm really surprised we aren't rebounded by the number we did. But I thought we did some good things in that re regard. And that was an emphasis. Um, and, I, and I wish him luck in uh, Coach uh, Coach, he's a good, good friend of all of ours, and so we wish them luck at a, a, in the summit. I think they're good. I think they're old, older than last year, more, more depth, and I, and I think they're going to uh, think. I thought defensively they were pretty good because they're big and strong and athletic out, out front. So um, I wish them uh, good luck in the future uh, going forward here. We saw Southern beat UNLV last night, so that was uh, interesting. Um, but as far as us, you know, defensively, we made improvements. Uh, you know, I obviously defensively wasn't happy with where we were last game, and, and uh, <coughs> we knew that, though, going in, and we made improvements. And I thought the things we emphasized, we did, rebounding one of them, taking away threes, and then guarding ball screens. We improved in all three of those areas, so that was good to see. Um, uh, I thought Chuck was really good defensively, especially in the second half. We've been trying to get him going, um, and uh, we had some guys offensively. You know, it just didn't flow. Uh, you know, I think we were a little anxious. Thought we played in crowds, and hence the, the 16 turnovers. And you know, it's a battle. You know, it's a battle. We gotta, you gotta understand you want, how you want to play and play the right way with the lead and and all the time. And I thought some guys kind of, uh, we we as I said on the radio just a second ago, we seemed to want to play on that first side uh, the entire game rather than getting a chance to talk about the second side, third side, the other side of the floor. And uh, we just didn't do that well enough today, and hence the uh, 16 turnovers. I think was the number. So, you know, that's got to improve. And I was a little disappointed by some of our guys' decision making uh, on that. But it's got to, uh, we'll get better at it. But I was in, most, most importantly, I was encouraged by what we did defensively. We, we tried to tighten up some things ball screen wise, and I thought we did. Uh, and I thought we uh, rebounded well. Uh, and that was an emphasis. And the threes, I thought we really contested. We had two breakdowns that really stood out uh, early. And we, you know, offensively, probably you know, our numbers could have been better, but we didn't make open shots. To be honest with you, we missed two or three for 15, 16 on three. So you need some of that to uh, score at a higher rate. So, but uh, um, good energy, uh, played hard, prepared well the last two days. I thought that was a good sign. Coach Jacoby, master career high tonight with yeah. 21 points. He had 17 in, right. in the first game. What have you seen from him through these first two games? Well, I mean, he's a better defensive player, and that's first and foremost. He has to be, and that's what we told him. Offensively, he was about, you know, was a, uh, he was good for us offensively last year. His defense was one of the, you know, I mean, just below par, simply put. So he had to play to play more, which he's playing more because he's playing better defense. And um, uh, that's that's the most important. But he's in better shape. He's playing better. I, I, you know, I said he has a knack. He has a feel. Uh, offensively, and I was like, you got to use that same feel on defense, and he never does, and now he is. And so we said, so last game he charted out as our, uh, um, you know, big, big tough frog, uh, um, the Scott Cross Award, um, that was really, which he had never been in the ballpark on before last year. So, um, but give him credit, he's improved. He had a breakdown uh, today too, I thought. Um, uh, but it, that's where we're at now. I mean, it used to be the list was. Improved, and that's why he's going to play more, and that's why he's going to score. And, and we're, you know, we're hitting the ball more and, and different things. He's in better shape, and he has free throws tonight, so that builds all that up. In the second half, you guys held him, I think, to like four points first ten minutes yeah. during that stretch. What do you think the key was defensively? The ball pressure, uh, the rebounding, um, and not fouling. That was uh, probably our biggest thing on defense. We fouled too much, and um, I was, you know, we'll look at it and, and why, and um, you know, we fouled on. Uh, and we talked about it. Coach McNeely did a great job on the scout. And the first thing he said to me was they're, you know, they're, uh, we call them rondos. They're pivoting in the lane. They're uh, shot fakes. Um, and we, we talked about it. And we still, you know, that's where we fouled a lot. And that's, uh, that was something that we uh, didn't carry over as well enough. You don't, we don't see that as often. A team that does that. But uh, um, give them credit. I, again, I think they're going to be pretty good. You know, I said that about Southern. And, seen the previous year. This team's better because I think they got four starters back and you know the look Davis helps them a lot and he and he, he battled and 
they're a tough team. These local kids, so it's a good decision to do well um, back there uh, in Davis. So um, that, that was good to see. I know you, you commented on some of the ball movement and the turnovers offensively already, but 50 points in the paint, that's got to be a good thing to see, right? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, our, we want to get the ball inside, and I think we could have been better, but we were just a little impatient. Our drives were in the crowds. Um, they were on the first side of the floor rather than after a reversal, and that's where uh, um, the, the turnovers came from. But, um, uh, well, you were better because we were 3 for 15 from 3, so you know, you got you to score uh, uh, somehow. But we, we, uh, our offensive rebound numbers were tremendous in the last game. Um, as I look at it, um, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're about the, we're, you know, we've got 42% offensive rebounders um, percentage, so uh, um, good, good tonight too as well. So okay. yeah, that's where we got them. Uh, you know, we, we kind of got some transition, we got some offensive rebounds, but our, our, our offense didn't flow. A couple of our plays worked pretty well, but I didn't think we executed well enough. That was that was the, the main reason. You, you mentioned obviously mending the defense. You got a little bit better from the last game. Just having everybody available, how much of a difference does that make in early on? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, there's no question. I mean, I think we've made strides defensively. To be honest, the, 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 we had generally three guys out pretty much all of uh, September, October, early. So we were kind of, you know, just not able to be where I wanted to be defensively. And, um, and partly it's because we're working so much on offense. So, again, that's not having all the guys in the summer, too, as well. But, um, yeah, we got to keep growing uh, defensively. And offensively, it's, it's always going to be, a, you know, that's why we talk about defensive rebounding. That's why I'm encouraged that the, the progress is there. Offensively, you're not going to, you know, we missed some open shots, especially early. I think the first three possessions, wide open threes, we didn't hit them. You know, you get a little tighter and, you know, it just didn't flow. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of how we are. And, and we got a little challenge with, you know, having 10 good players and they're all kind of, you know, worrying about minutes right now. And, you know, we had Isaiah and we had Jace in the, in the other games. And we, we played the walk-on, so there's even less minutes there because we're playing everybody. So now you kind of feeling it out and, and seeing. But, um, no, you just, just got to trust that. I'm just I'm trying to get because we got 10 good players, and that's going to be used to our advantage, not as a negative, but as an advantage. So. Defensively progress, and that's what you want to do. Offensively, we gotta, you know, you're gonna have to regroup a, 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 every every once in a while tonight. You'll have to regroup and get back to the ball movement. I mean, what was our assist numbers? 19, uh, 15. I know we had seven at the half. I mean, I think that was the stat. That was the first thing I mentioned when we were on this. We had seven assists, nine turnovers. I mean, that's not how we play. Well, Song gave you guys some really good moments yeah. in the first half. How encouraging was his performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, he, he's he's a great. He's you know he was the guy that probably guarded the ball screen the best last game, um, so we pointed that out. But I think when we had 22 rebounds from those three guys, I mean, um, I don't know what the point total was. I mean, uh, Ernest uh, had the uh, two he had seven. So I mean, we have to get double figures points and rebounds from those guys, and I think we got what 13 13 points, 22 rebounds. So that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. So. You know, we, we and, and and I thought we got pretty good defense out of them too. I don't watch more of the. They had the ball inside a lot. I guess see why that was. They had two different guys that could post up, so that was part of it. Um, but again, the ball cover, ball screen, uh, ball screen coverage was better, and, and a lot of it was due to them. Uh, uh, Ernest uh, Isom, Isom was good the other day. You see, he was better too. Aaron Nelson has. I think seven steals through the first yeah. two games. Do you like what you're seeing from him as far as? I, I, I do. I mean, I thought today he kind of over penetrated a little bit on the offensive end, but his numbers have been good. Um, uh, but defensively, he, we're trying to get him better um, in in that area. But yeah, he has a knack. He he he, our, he leads us in deflections every day of practice, and um, and yet with at times we feel like he doesn't have active enough hands. But we know where he gets them. I mean, we know where he gets the. The deflections in kind of a unique uh, way. Um, so, uh, uh, but he gets the deflections. We need him more for contesting shots and pressuring the ball, uh, and uh, uh, that's where we're emphasizing. But we, he does get the deflections on kind of like ball screens and handoffs, uh, those types of things. And uh, um, yeah, make that double team that was foul instead of steal. So yeah, that's that's where he has to go. He's, he's just yeah, very aggressive. Physical, you know, I don't know where he got it from, but uh, he's, that's how his dad plays. So it's, uh, uh, it's a nice to overcome all bad coaching. Uh, one more for Kev? 
Yeah, just uh, so early signing period started for yeah. the recruiting class. You signed four four kids to the 2024 mm-hmm. class. Can you, now you can talk about them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's out there. It's a, it's a great class. I mean, I think it's uh, we, we you know, target some guys and we hand out four <coughs> big guys. And, you know, it's funny when you recruit about four different guys and, and, uh, and we, we kind of rank them, you know, which one. I didn't get to see all of them. Uh, Coach Broussard did a great job recruiting uh, Malik. And, um, you know, we, we, I didn't see him, but a lot. But he was one of like, it was a no-brainer. We got to, you know, love to have him. I didn't know how we did. He bought out from Utah. And, um, but we got him, so it was great. He wanted to be here. Um, so defensively, I think he's, good, he's going to be a little bit uh, a little different for us. Um, and then Mike is a guy we recruit for a long time. And I think Coach did a great job in that area. Um, and we got recruits coming this week. I know we're looking at the next class. Um, but um, uh, and and point guard, you know, we were looking at a couple different guards, and as we went and we looked, you know, we said we need we need a point guard, and, and uh, um, I always liked this kid, and we kind of jumped on him more as it went on, and just learned more and more about him, uh, Ashton, and you know, he played. I love guys, and there's not many of those guys anymore, uh, but he was like an all-state wide receiver, I guess, or cornerback or something, but he's a really, really good football player, and so you know, we were behind him, be shooting the ball, but you know. They're banging helmets and uh, pads for your first three years of high school. Like they, uh, they got your uh, shooting touch and uh, uh, minutes in the gym on the gun. So I think I think he'll be I think he'll be good, Micah. Um, and uh, I, I think we did good. And then Punch, I'll go see him and play again next week. Uh, I'm excited about seeing him again. Boy, he was like a no-brainer when we saw him. Got better. He was up here for our weight camp. So. Um, you know, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, we, we recruit all over the place, but, you know, Texas, there's just good enough players here. And uh, uh, but at the same time, you know, um, we got to be we got to be out there everywhere, you know, talking and, and communicating and singing. And, you know, and sometimes the guys you don't get, and you may get them a couple years later on the transfer in this world now. So, you know, when they, when they <laughs> pick somewhere else, you go, okay, thanks, and we'll talk to you. Possibly in a couple of years, who knows? <laughs> so uh, sometimes it's all right to come in second nowadays. <laughs> That's good. All right. Uh, That's all right.